For some, it's only noise. For others, it's a real groove. Besides rhythm, the Blechwarenfabrik Limburg produces more than 70 million tons of metal packaging each year. To be precise, tin cans, both round and square, small and large, with a variety of patterns. And they've been at it for almost a century and a half. Each year, the company processes more than 21,000 tons of tin plate, an amount equaling the weight of three Eiffel Towers. Before machines process the metal into cans, sheets of the raw material are first coated in a special unit. A coating is necessary to prevent chemical reactions with aggressive contents inside the can. The problem is, coating plants require a huge amount of gas to operate the drying oven and for burning off the resulting fumes. In addition, factories need large amounts of coating. That's why the Blechwarenfabrik Limburg has developed a brand new process to provide a protective coating to the sheet metal. A thin film measuring just a few thousandths of a millimeter is rolled out. The film is covered in another thin layer of adhesive and guided into a special laminating roll. Under pressure, the film is glued to the sheet metal at 100 degrees Celsius. The result is a kind of endless belt of sheets and film. Special lasers separate the individually coated sheets from each other. In the last step of the procedure, the sheets are once again layered into stacks. Along with better energy and material efficiency, we're also improving the quality of our products. That's because the PET film that we apply here is much more resistant to aggressive contents than conventional coatings. Each year, the new technology not only saves the company energy and coating material, the improved quality of its products also makes the company more competitive. The machine was developed especially for this process, known as Limburg film lamination. The technology can be transferred to other areas of application, wherever coatings need to be applied. A further innovation can be found in the company's fabrication shop. This is where the bottoms, lids, and rings for the tin cans are produced. They used to be punched out of long strips of tin. The problem was the large amount of waste left over from the punching process. The new portal press, on the other hand, can process entire sheets, making better use of the surface area and conserving material. The punch is provided with a special material feeder. Two rails guide the tin plate into the exact position. Within the rails, rollers ensure the endwise feed of the tin plate. Afterwards, stabilizers fixate the tin. Precise guidance provides exact control of the sheet metal, resulting in especially thin spaces between the holes. The tin plate is processed on the other side using the same principle.
The precise guidance allows a web thickness of only 0.8 millimeters. Keeping such a tiny separation distance drastically reduces the amount of waste material. And that saves the company 800 tons of tin per year, compared to the previously used technology. We're not only interested in the primary resources like tin. We also look at many other things, like the light used in this hall, or paper, gloves and water. We have to take a comprehensive look at everything as a whole. Tin plate makes up around 60% of the company's manufacturing costs, representing a major cost factor. But the production of tin cans with the help of interlinking automated production, testing machines and palletizing robots is complicated. Better organization of material feeds alone can save not only time, but also transport packing costs. The topic of efficiency runs like a thread through all areas of production and makes up an important part of company training. Prospective machine operators work together with apprentice salesmen in special projects. Lowering the costs of materials and energy is an important goal. We try to implement the ideas of material and energy efficiency as early as possible. Companies that still have a problem in this area won't be able to press a button and fix it just like that in 10 or 20 years. It takes a long time for this idea to establish itself within a company. And that's why we start with our young people. From start to finish, material and energy conservation are an integral part of the company's philosophy. The finished tin cans used to be shrink-wrapped for transport. The film was heated with a gas burner, causing it to contract. Today, the company uses a thinner film that's stretched over the cans like rubber. That reduces the amount of film by 50%, completely eliminating the need for gas. Production at the Blechwarenfabrik Limburg has certainly inspired more than percussionists Moritz Grenzmann and Hermann Koch. The rhythmic environment is bound to bring resounding success to workers, engineers, salesmen, and entrepreneurs alike.